By the way, thanks for coming on the podcast last night. Oh, no problem. I was, I was, I was happy to do so, and I enjoyed every moment of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to edit that video because I have to. I, I'm, I'm posting that on YouTube. I've been wanting to do that for what I did in that game for years now, and I'm just. Oh. All right. I just gotta pizzy past those liggity links. I don't think that works as a statement. I'm sorry. I mean, if you're into some liggity liggity lyrics, Beady Mac Daddy. I don't know. I ask myself that every day. Did you hear my video? I did. I said I when I was saying that he looked at me and he's like, what? <laughs> my brother is playing Pokemon in the background and he's my friend Billy, so it's gonna get loud in the background. Is this an is this an RPG based around virtual on? No, this is a virtual on game that includes the Index universe. It's straight up a virtual on. <laughs> Yo, I love me some virtual on. This, I got, I did not know this game existed, uh, but th I came across it, and I found out it is, uh, it's a bit, it got recalled because of, uh, um, we don't, we assume because of licensing, but it got recalled, and uh, it's really hard to, it's not super hard to get physically, because it's not super expensive, but... It's got like a very, very limited release. So I was like, when I found that, I'm like, oh shit, I need this game in my life. So I was like, fuck yeah, picked it up, got it. I think I got it for like 25 bucks. So apparently came out two years ago and I had no idea. And I'm a huge Virtual On fan. I don't know how I missed this shit. Same. Is it is it all in Japanese or is it Eng is it English? It never got localized. It actually um, it was available digitally on both Vita and PS4, but it got delisted uh, in 2017. Uh, and the physical release also got recalled. So I don't know how PlayAsia has copies of this stuff. They must have just not sent it back. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's so cool. I played this on Tuesday. It was it, it was really fun. Doesn't take my controller inputs for a second. Right. Say something real quick, Kirby. I just want to make sure it picks you up. Hello. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Good. All right, well, let's do this shit. So I played a, a bunch of story mode uh, last night, but uh, I'm gonna play a little bit more of it tonight to through what I miss or what I haven't finished. Uh, I played through so far. Are you familiar with the Index series? I am not familiar with the Index series, but uh, I I just I just. Oh, uh, before we, I forget, and you forget, and you, you ask me later, and so like that, why League of Legends made me happy. Yeah, can you explain to everybody? Okay, um, so for those who don't know, uh, first up, hi, my name is Brother Kirby. I'm everyone's brother, so whatever. Um, I play League of Legends. I play League of Legends not as much as I used to, because it, at one point it actually made me sick to play League of Legends. But recently, they updated one of my main characters is a character named Nocturne. He's basically the Freddy Cougar, Freddy Cougar on steroids. That's pretty much what he is. Mm -hmm. And um, so last game before I came into the stream, before the stream even started, I was playing a game. I got my first ever pentakill with Nocturne. Ooh, what's a pentakill? Is it like six? Mm -hmm. No, a pentakill is five kills, but it has five kills in a row. But that means I wiped out the entire enemy team by myself. Damn. And so that's what that's what what made me so happy. And I ended that game. For those who who are in the know and like competitive games in general, so like that, 
my KDA that in that big game was 17 2 and 5. Oh. I so because I I basically carried that team that that, that team. I'm not, I'm not gonna be shy about it, but I carried. But I was just like, ah oh, yes. This is what I needed. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> But uh, to answer your other question, I am not familiar with the Index um, universe. I've seen pictures from the characters and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, it's essentially it's just a virtual online game. But this they had a crossover light novel with uh, the Index series, and then this game is based on that light novel. So, um, even if you don't know anything about the Index series, it's easy. It's easy to follow. Also, Kuroko is best girl. And her mech is uh, fucking awesome. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not going to question you because I don't know uh, uh, the index lore. So, I, like, I'm not going to question you if, you if you say she's best girl. That's that's something I might will have to discuss another time. Um, uh, Ruby, Ruby 150. Uh, hi, uh, Nocturne. Uh, it's. I would have to explain his lore, but basically put. Uh. Uh, basically, his his lore, like like his brief lore, is it says here on the page a demonic amalgamation drawn from the nightmares that haunt every sentient mind. A thing known as Nartarn become has become a primordial fear of pure terror. So he's a demon. He's a nightmare. He's a nightmare demon. He is the nightmare demon. Mm, okay. If if they can, um, yeah. Yeah, th that's how. That's why I feel, Ruby. I only know them by name. There's also uh, now and, uh, the new series is called a certain scientific accelerator, which is about the character accelerator. Um, but, but yeah, I've only seen the first season of Index, the first season of Railgun, and half of Railgun S. So I don't. Even, I'm not even super familiar. Uh, Nightman was here on Tuesday, and he knows this series inside and out. So he was dropping I mean, that knowledge bombs. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but Nightman's a bit of a bit of a weeb. He is a bit of a weeb, and, but he and, knows it. Yeah, and and, and and like I respect I respect that because like be, having having knowledge on a lot of stuff, uh, it's really difficult, and it's it's real fun to actually. You know, Fuck! Who was our friend who knew every fucking anime? Shugo. Shugo, that motherfucker. I, I don't, I don't know where Shugo is because <laughs> like like. I, like for, for those who don't know, it was name was I think it was I think it was his name was Shugo Anime Anime Shugo or something I can't remember. The, yeah. Um, he he was he was a friend of ours and um he lived in the same city that I lived. In. I'm not gonna sell out names like. Yeah. Um, he refused to actually even acknowledge that. Uh, he he was such a, I think the Japanese term is hikikomori. Hikikomori, yeah. Yeah, that he didn't want to, he, he, he never wanted to leave the house. I was like, I, like I would tell him, I'll say, um, Shugo, let's hang out some time. I'll come by. And I was like, he was like, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And he, 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 he from what I understand, from what, what I, from just being in, in calls with him, um, he rarely left his room. So he was like a true hiccup. Yeah, he was a true hiccup. And I don't know where he is right now. Um, he, I haven't heard from him. Uh, I know Insane used to talk to him. He hasn't heard from him. I haven't heard from uh, Insane. In, or, or Insane I have, but uh, Isnate, I haven't heard from him either. Is Isnate? Yeah, he called him out. Oh, okay. You want to know who, who has me on Facebook, but I rarely talk to him? Hey. Fucking Dino Brochus. Sorry, who? Remember Dino? You oh, remember Dino? Dino? Yeah. yeah I he... on Facebook. I, I, I rarely talk to him. He fucking added me on Pokemon Go. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to add you on Pokemon Go so if you send me more Pokeballs. I'm sorry. Yeah, I need I, more I, 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 know, I, I don't have Pokeballs. Like, two of my friends literally, I said, I said, I, I would give people Pokemon that I, that I catch around my house because while I live in this, I live in this area and there's no Pokestops within, like, I guess, what, seven or eight miles? Damn. Like, there's, like, there's not even a Pokestop on the local church. And so... Uh, I tell people 
all the time. I live in the boonies, and my house is literally... You can, you can sit here and spend 60 to 80 Pokeballs catching Pokemon in my front yard. Yeah. So I'm just like, I like, I don't get, the, I get, I get to play Pokemon Go, but I don't get to play Pokemon Go. Mm. Like at, at this, at this current time, the only thing I'm, 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 I have willing to trade to people is like these fucking Snorlaxes I got on this, like, on the Snorlax day. <laughs> like the, fun, the funny thing is, is that it, it's, it's random because like I technically work out of some places that are pretty out there in the booms, but like they'll have Pokestops. I'm like, what the fuck? Why does this place have a Pokestop? <laughs> um, some places do, and then some places don't. It's it's random, so yeah, yeah, it's so it's weird. Like, it's, and I know that you can apply for them because I remember a buddy of mine who owned a restaurant tried to apply to get a Pokestop, and I think Niantic actually gave it to him. So. Billy, what's up? But stop! Stop it! Yeah, but... Stop it, Billy! Don't fake stop jerk it. me off in the air. That's oh, right. I'm gonna oh. tell my viewers what you were doing. Oh, Billy! Do it harder. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um. Today was like I know like yesterday it didn't end on a good note for me. I got really upset. But today was a, a chill off day, but. I just, I just say, you know what, I'm gonna come by, hang out and stuff like that. And I know, I know you don't play Final Fantasy XIV. I know CJ does, but I don't know. But if I'm ever streaming, uh, streaming and stuff like that, um, during my normal times and stuff like that, you're welcome to come by because I don't talk about the game at all. I, <laughs> I keep trying to get into that game and I realize I just don't have the time. Like, it's, it's, like, I just tell people, I tell people when it comes to getting into 14 or so like that, um, especially those who, who are getting into it new. Like I played a Real Born before mm -hmm. Heaven's Sword came out, and then I'm not pre I'm not for playing catch up. Yeah. It's it's a Final Fantasy game, but it's also is it an MMO? But it's also a single player experience because they force you to do almost everything by yourself. Yeah. Outside outside of like dungeons and like the occasional like you know primal fights or basically they're like super bosses that require eight and then you have raids that require 20 alliances which is 24 people oh, um, it's basically you're basically playing and you're basically playing a final fantasy game by yourself and it is what you make of it you know if you enjoyed final fantasy formula you you like like i like in a lot of the, the, the things in there it's like i play a white Thanks, mage. man yeah, no problem. Hi, weeb. I mean, hi, Nightman. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about how much of a weeb you were earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know what? It wasn't even mean spirited. Like, you're like, I feel like I like if I ever want to get into an anime and figure out stuff, figure out if I want to enjoy it, I'm just gonna just just tag you like, Nightman, fill me in. Oh What's yeah. The sitch? Also, ask him <laughs> anything about the Trails series. You know what? Oh, yeah. I want. I wanted to get into the trail series, but uh, a, a former like I want to say she's a former friend. I don't talk to her anymore. Uh, she this girl put me off of wanting to play the trails series. Believe mm. it or not. And, and it came down to it was because um, thanks, Ruby. I'm not a for following. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you. Welcome to the zero hood. The zero hood. So oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. My bad. Welcome to the Maverick Hunters. This, this is the zero. Hood. <laughs> zero unit. Yeah, that that was bad. Bad. better. So, so, it, by the way, uh, just real quick, if you're wondering Kirby how this plays, it is a little slower than other Virtuon games, but it's not as hard to navigate. Because <laughs> if you played the original Virtuon, like, I love that game, but holy shit, it's kind of hard to navigate sometimes. I still, I still have the Virtuon game still saved to my hard drive on the Xbox 360. I just recently bought the 360 one. Um, when it was on sale. So now that I have this, I have practically all the virtual ones. Because I have this, I have the I 361, jealous. I have the one for Saturn, and I have the one for Dreamcast. Uh, so I love this series. I need to do a review on this series or something like that. Because, like, they're not long games. And I just, I love them. I like these even more than Custom Robo, and I love Custom Robo. 
Well, Zero, if you uh, review this game, have me cameo just to tell, uh, tell you that Misaka's the best girl. Well, uh, I would have you cameo to help me with some of the character stuff because I'm yeah. not up to date on the anime. Like I like I said when I started, I've seen season one of Index, I've seen season one of Railgun, and I've seen half of Railgun S. So. I'm not up to date. I still need to watch Index 2, 3, the movie, and Accelerator, and the rest of Railgun. So, the movie's filler, so you can skip that if you want. Well, I want to see the movie. So, right, by the way, right now we're playing as Satan Sun, uh, aka Princess Upskirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same story as the Kuroko one? Because the Kuroko story uh, followed Satan for some reason. I'm not sure. Um, what I found out afterwards is this game follows a crossover um, light novel. I need to get that, but mm. of course it would be all in Japanese, so it would just be for collector's value. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a like 600-page light novel that's a crossover between this and Virtual On, and that's what this is based on. <laughs> but yeah. Also, by the way, sorry, Kit Oni. I know you guys were here. We got talking. So welcome. Yeah, so, 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 yeah I'm until my DM shows up. <laughs> cool, cool. This, these are these, these are these are other people that that are fr they're freely allowed to come join me on my streams, but never do. Uh, I would join you if I was allowed to join that server. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, you want to point? You know what? I want to point something out to everyone who's in this chat right now. I put a link to the Discord server on the on the on the bottom screen in the bottom area where all the information is. Everyone's free uh, to join. Okay, good to know. <laughs> you can drop your Discord <laughs> server in the Twitch chat if you want as well. Feel free. Like, like I'm, I'm not going to do that. Like I'm not going to try to promote my stuff on there. But, Wait, but like, O's, I'm, O's, what? O's, O's. What? It cut out. I was trying to say Barbara Streisand's no. Barbara no, I was looking on the screen. It said O's somewhere. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that a reference? I can't read Japanese. Brandon, where are you? Oh, no, it's last order. referencing wrestling, not only... We'll not go to the wrestle jar this time. You don't get the to dictate that. No, no, here's the reason, here's the reason. It's going to go to New Legacy fighting back. What's that? Yeah, they're, they're doing something for cancer. For oh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, play, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're streaming tonight, right? Yeah, they're streaming yeah, they're tonight. Streaming. So, I, right, I have to remember to raid them tonight. After yeah, I'll remind you to trust me. But, um... Uh, <laughs> But no, but uh, there's a uh, there's some things I I there's some mobile games that I've been looking to get into. I'm I'm actually thinking about buying a uh, a high end uh, Android laptop, not an Android laptop, an Android tablet. You know what I found too? I recently found because I got at work. I've never used a Chromebook before, and I had one to mess around with. They can run a lot of Android apps now. Oh, I nice. you know what. I thought about getting like getting something like that, but I want I want to get like something Android so I don't have to work too hard. You want to get like 100% use... compatibility essentially, or a, a better yeah. percent compatibility? Because I yeah. know a lot of the a lot of the games on um, uh, on Chromebook um, aren't they don't have an option for like mouse or keyboard or or controller, so you can't play some of the games. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, and like people, people tell me to get blue stacks for it, and I've gotten blue stacks for a lot of like a lot of games, but blue stacks doesn't have a lot of compatibility. Like people tell me, tell me that they want to see my take on that take my order, but I can't play it on my phone, and blue stacks can't run it properly. And trust me, I've tried. Um, I want to do a review on Tappan. Yeah, Teppen's one I've been I was thinking of talking about, but I don't I, I don't know too much about it. Um so I'd leave that to you. Um basically um it is from 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 what I've played of it a little bit so far, it's basically a mobile game version of Capcom Fighting. Games. And it's it has it has the whole these different characters and like you have to it's basically kind of it's, it's a weird hybrid between uh, 
between like I want to say puzzle fighters and like like in a, in a, your standard like mobile fight uh, card game. And, and uh, it's pretty fun. One character that I do I do main is my boy Nerdy Dante. Nerdy Dante is in that game, and he's yeah. I've only got Ryu so far. Um, once you, uh, I would tell you this: once you complete Ryu story mode, because they force you to play the Ryu story mode, it's his use of the Um, you can pick anyone else, and if, if they start you off with Ryu, Chun Li, Dante, Rathalos, Wesker, and Nerdy Dante. Hmm. No, it's X. It's X. It's X and Rafa. Why do I think Dante? Dante's just really scary. Um, I think. oh, by the way, I might have. I think. I think. Uh, I think Satan's my side girl in this and in the series because <laughs> she's great. Oh, pretty great. Yeah, likable character. Also, fun fact: uh, she has the same Japanese VA as uh, as Senna from Hog and I. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, cool. Meaning she got uh she's got the voice of best girl from it from uh Hagenai. <laughs> At first I thought you said Hagenai, and I'm like, wait a minute. And then I realized what you said. <laughs> she, she has the same voice from the girl from Hagendas. Hagendas. I had to go down to the store and get some Hagendas. I couldn't get my fucking spoon in it because it was rock solid. So I threw it in the oven and it came out all melted. So I fed it to my cat. <laughs> but, um, there is one thing I wanted to bring out. Because, um, I, I know everyone has probably heard about this before. It's called Pokemon Mask. Right? Yeah, I've heard of it. The new, new mobile game and stuff like that. Um, well, the, the beta was released and someone got the beta and they, uh, data mined it. And,. Something I noticed in one of the models that really that really stuck out to me was that they they've aged some of the characters a little bit. Yeah. And it's 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 subtle. It's subtle things, except for when you look at Mist. Was it not subtle with Mist? You remember how she looked in Pokemon and Let's Go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want you to picture that Misty, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, picture that Misty with, with wide hips. They made her thick? They made her hip thick, yes. Aw, oh, shit, Misty thick. <laughs> and I... I, I she isn't. She isn't. Like I like like I mean, like she's people, aged up, I guess. Right. Like a lot of uh, they, they they made it they made it abundantly clear that these characters are uh, are 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 young, but they're not as young as people want them to be. Ah. Maybe it's just the anime where they're younger. Yeah, the anime is when they're younger. It's just that in the game is like that. You can't even tell like your main protagonist is ten or eighteen. Because there's no there's no real physical difference be in height between uh, between the age. I like that when you fight Red in uh, seventh gen, they aged him up. He's like twenty something. Yeah, he's he's yeah. near his thirties, and he and he looks like that. Like he's physically taller. He's, he's... Uh, Ruby, Misty's in the first generation of Pokemon. She's the second gym leader. Did yeah, like did you play first yeah, gen? <laughs> Did, did, did you go to Cerulean Gem? He maybe he's one of. The, well, that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this is where I have to bid y'all adieu. My DM has responded to me. All right. See you guys later. Have fun. Right, Don't have fire a magic missile at the Peace. darkness. I <laughs> promise not to even. I, I'm a freaking magic user with that uses fire, so. I, that's that's some good advice. All right. Let's play your nerd game. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to play it. Oni, I, I don't want to hear that from you. You right. fucking, you fucking did a podcast Oni. on wrestling. Oni, Oni, we're all gamers here. All of us in this room are nerds. That's true. Yeah, no, I, I, I accept, I accept this game. Tadashi, Tokun, so no more. You fucking did a freaking live stream of wrestling or something. You did. Yeah, you literally did.
with a guy named Doom or something. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I think he accused you of kidnapping his daughter on Twitter once. <laughs> Doom, Doom makes shit up on the regular basis and he tries to get everybody to go along with it and then I just shoot him down and he just goes, why do you gotta do this to me? <laughs> I saw that and I died. Oh my god, I'm just... So... <laughs> he's, fucked, he's fucked up, but you yeah, don't like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, he, he's just digging around, it's funny. <laughs> you know what? I just returned return to Pokeball. Thank you. Alright, uh, let's see. Hope I don't get drilled in this battle. Well, the fact that one of the enemies has a drill arm and Ruby's on it up early. So it wasn't good. Yeah, take that, bitch! Love you, bitch. Ain't gonna stop ever loving you, bitch. <laughs> I play D and D. You're a fucking asshole if you think it's if you say that shit. You you watch wrestling. Shut up. People, like, people like what they like. Dude, dude, you have four Twitter accounts based off of wrestling. I don't want to fucking hear it. Four. Oh, Uharu backing me up. I don't know how to do the specials. I still don't know how to do the specials. Actually, it was Actually, it was Okay, you okay. You have one from WWE. I have one from They took it down. They took it down. They took it down. They said it was too nerdy. I almost got a drill in the face there at the end of the match. Oh, oh my god. Doug Trio, just get in, get it into the Great Ball. Are you playing Pokemon Go right now? No, oh, I'm playing Pokemon. Uh, Let's go, Pikachu. Oh, and okay. I ran into a, I ran into a Doug Trio, and it's, it's, it's being, it's being very difficult. Night man, I saw that message you put in the chat. You fuck. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I need to figure out how to fucking do this So, uh, if you thought what I said was bad, though, one of my friends, uh, when they saw one of the Star Wars reviews, he, he was saying, Oh, I love Star Trek! I've heard that one before. Oh, I've heard that one before. Wow. Yeah, and I'm just like, God damn it. I heard people talk about um, the new uh, Star Trek series. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Discovery, I guess. I think so. Um, yeah. And they said, "Oh, they tried to make it like Star Wars." So all the Star Trek fans went and watched uh, the Orville instead, because it's more like Star Trek. Yeah, that's a parody, so that's funny. When Seth MacFarlane is doing something better than you are, that's kind of scary. <laughs> hey man, he's had a very successful career. It's a yeah, but yeah, but his comedy's not all that great. I would argue that some of it is. I mean, if you ignore the fact that Family Guy does the same jokes over and over again, and The Simpsons sure. doesn't, The Simpsons like, sucks like, now too. Like, like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just, I just wanna point out that comedy. Is subjective to those who watch it. You're right. And and there's no such thing as an original joke. Again with the wrestling. <laughs> Fucking nerd. Yeah. These guys are there, Oni. I know, but I was just saying. 
I agree. There is no such thing as original joke. I suppose you're not talking about Gundam when I'm playing this yeah, mecha game. But my point is, though, Family you, Guy. You know, you know, you know what? Speak, speaking of Gundam, I said here. No, I said here, and I made a song on Patreon, and I mentioned him in the post. I linked the post in this chat. He didn't click on it because it was Patreon. I bet you he didn't click on it. I made a post specifically about him and Gundam and how I wanted I wanted his I wanted to talk to him about Gundam or something. I can't remember the post, but it was something about Gundam. I didn't even see it. It was a it was the post that after it was a post after you after your link for SummerSlam 2009 commentary. Oh, wow. oh fuck, I don't need to go back and look, man. Shit. <laughs> Oh, oh look! Like, I'm only going to use Harvest. I'm gonna chew the head off. This is delicious. Kid does that all the time. That's not the, that's not her your head that she's chewing. No. <laughs> Wait, which head? Yeah, <laughs> That you son of a bitch! This guy's an asshole. Tech media and Jake Mamey's thinking of a Gundam. Oh, I KO'd him. Nice. I was like, man, my score's really low. Oh, I KO'd him. KO! <laughs> I love how every time you win, the fucking Air Force comes in and does the rainbow fucking smoke. Only in Academy City. Da 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 da. Wait. <laughs> you want to talk? You want to talk about semi mech shows that, that that die before they can actually do something with it? Yeah. In the Stratos. Yeah. Episode like or episode. Sorry, season two was like uh was like. I felt like there could have been more, and I th I guess it got canceled because they're not doing a season three. I was like, Man, there's so if much it, more to this series that could be explored. But if it, if if it, it, if, go ahead. If it's Stratos is harem garbage anyway. Yeah, I, I'm not so gonna lie. The, the only reason I watched it is because Spencer abridged it. <laughs> I want to see what all the hubbub was. Sorry, Kirby. Continue. I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say, uh, ba basically, basically, so so was High School DxD, and like I still like the premise of it. I just don't. I love High show. School DxD because it's great trash. Like, 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 underneath all that trash harem bullshit lies a a, a plethora of world building ideas that is being underused because it's harem trash. It's also on top of mm -hmm. uh, under also underneath it being harem trash. It's actually a fucking decent action show. Yeah. I will, I will, I will accept that. Like, I, like, I, still... I was there for titties, but then you gave me a sick action story. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> titties and action? What the hell? Titty all day, every day. Titty. Tit action. Put some action. Oh, wrecked you in the first hit, motherfucker. God, Satan's so good. I love her. Second best girl in Rail, rail Gun. Second best girl, at, like my side, my side girl, in in, in the index. I I just love things like like not only is she like the one who fucks around the most, but she always has all these conspiracy theories, and they end up being true. <laughs> like every single one, they're like, "Come on, Zatan, that's not real," and then they investigate, and they're like, "Oh my fucking god, this is real." Um, but like, like, really, I understand how, how people feel when they say, you know, I stopped playing a game, Pokemon game now, because it died for me, something like that, either I just outgrew it or something like that. Honestly, I look at it like this. Uh, a franchise is what you make out of it. If you, if you're, if you like the franchise, stick with it. If you're not really attached to it, just, just go find something else in there. Like, like, I made a post 
not too long ago about people complaining about everything that's going down with Sword and Shield. And I saw, I said, I literally just said, if Pokemon is not doing what you're do, what you do, you want out of a, out of a, a series, go play Digimon. <laughs> Actually, the newer <laughs> Digimon games have been great. That's the reason why I said it. It wasn't even about yeah. being mean. It was just like Cyber Sleuth and like uh, uh, the Cyber Sleuth games. And like the new one that's coming out, I think next year, it was either this year or next year, where it's more, it's more, it's Digimon, but it's more, and the, and the gameplay style is more in line of saying Danga Rampa. So they that they uh, get killed. I think so. Nice. And so like it's. And it's, 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 it, the, Digimon is going off on a different direction, like, there's, there's always going to be a different <coughs> show, something different that, that, that caters to which your likes, you know? Yeah. And, and like, like, you know, people say, I don't like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Imagine. No. Magic is too complicated. Go play. Go play Hearthstone. I will say fourth gen was almost the one that killed Pokemon for me, and then fifth gen just like reinvigorated the franchise for me. And I know a lot of people don't like fifth gen, but whole, but holy shit, like they they did some good shit. People who don't like fifth gen just don't like just, just don't like uh, life in general. That's how I feel. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yes. Good job. Yeah. Do you mind if I use it for the hanger? Sure. Awesome. I got my intro. Gotta get off my lazy ass and do something with my life. Oh fuck, I gotta make okay. that video intro for it. Well, well now you got a theme for it. Well now we got a theme for it. <laughs> yeah, go. like, like, because I only have two Patreons. And I keep forgetting to, like, like I'm not sure if I'm actually getting alerts sent to, to uh, to zero. Did but I? Yeah, I bet did I, I? Did I bump up yet? I can't remember if I did, forgot. Okay, you good. Did. But I was just like, I've been, I've been updating. Uh, I've been, I've been updating. I've been making new songs and stuff like that. Um, I did tell you that they're making a new album. I nope. can actually talk about it. Um, it's called, um, it's called From the East. And basically, I'm taking a bunch of video game songs, not just from Mega Man, but just like a whole bunch of video game songs. And I'm using um, specific instruments to make the cup. By the way, by the way, and first of all, I don't think I'm getting um, uh, I don't think I'm getting notifications because the last notification I remember getting from you was like a month ago, like over a month yeah. ago. Um, yeah. No, I need I need to. I'm I'm, a, I'm looking at it right now. I need to check. It. Yeah. Um. By the way, speaking of Mega Man, did you see what I uh, retweeted earlier today? I did not. Okay, so so Mega Man Legends 1.5 prototype is there. I want to play that so bad. <laughs> as Kirby, as someone who likes fan games, I think you will love this one. Uh, okay, I'm going. I'm going to your Twitter. It's, it looks so fucking good. Yeah, they canceled it. Yeah. Or they shelved it, sorry. Uh, I think the official word that it was shelved because Disney wanted to wanted to cut a bunch of projects and they're like Essentially essentially what I heard is that it's just not going forward. So unless there's an investor or something, it's gonna stay at a standstill. <laughs> Okay, I gotta beat the. I gotta do this fight again. Uh, uh, come on. I gotta watch the, the other four. I don't watch the first one. I will. I will get. I will try that out. I will try that out. I'll try that out tomorrow. I Man, like, like, I know it looks a little janky, but I'm like, this is the best fan game, Legends fan game I've ever seen. Like, this guy's actually putting a lot of fucking effort in it. I'm like, holy shit. 
I want to point out that's the only Mega Man Legends fan game I've seen. I've seen a lot of ones that were proofs of concept, but this one actually looks like it has full dungeons and shit done. And the people they got to vo for the voices for, for Mega Man and Roll are like really close to the original voices. I was like, holy shit. Okay. Bruh. It's, uh, I love it. You know it. what? You know what I went in? I went into the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh... I turned off notifications when, it, when you make when I make a post. Oh. Yeah. And when I when I, I did that, I didn't think I, it, it counted for everyone. But you know, I saw it and I was like, okay, maybe it counts for everyone. That's why I'm not getting them. Cause I'll I'll check back and I'll be like, I wonder if Kirby's posting anything. Well, I'll be like, holy shit, where are all these posts from? I don't remember these. Like the last po the last post I played, I actually that was actually a thing was like in May. Uh, what, the, the Metal Slug Infinity when I recorded when I was sick. Yeah. I saw that but, when it uh, hit YouTube. Like, yeah. before Patreon, or like, after Patreon. I was like, I don't remember yeah. this. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little excited when I saw the title of it, and I'm like, oh, cool, mobile Metal Slug game, and then I saw that it was like, kind of like, basically... kind of like a tower defense game, I'm like, oh, another one. <laughs> it, it's it's less tower defensey, but I do enjoy it because it does it 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 does give you like it does give you like all the Metal Slug characters and stuff like that, all the vehicles you can unlock. Um, like you can sit here and do all this all this stuff, and, it, and like it, and you listen to and it has all the music, all the original music from Metal Slug. So what I would usually do is like when I'm playing in, in the car and stuff like that, I'll plug my headphones in, crank the, the sound effects down and just listen to whatever stage I'm on. You know? Hmm. So it's just like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty good, but like, I haven't made, I haven't, I've made a, another one of my playing because like, I've been having a hard time recording this particular game. <laughs> And uh, I don't mind mentioning it because, like, I don't think this episode, this episode, is gonna come out anytime soon. Um, it, it's um, Dr. Mario, the mobile Dr. Mario. Oh, nice! I, I'm actually really interested in that. I've been playing it. It's pretty fun. It's um, Dr. Mario on crack. I just see that much. Yeah. Um, and I do like the fact that you can unlock all these other characters because they just recently released Dr. Wario, Dr. Wild, Luigi, and Dr. Baby. <laughs> oh shit. Oh nice, I got my, uh, I got my, uh, boost. But I'm dead. <laughs> oh, but I'm back up. But, um, I was going to start a, a mini, a mini series called uh tools of the trade yeah and um pretty much what it is is that i get asked a lot of times or something like that from people it's just like how do how would how would i get, get into you know doing video editing and like you know, and, all that kind of stuff. and like they, and i hear i hear all the time i don't have the money to sit here and get all the stuff you know, get Vegas. Get to like, uh, they, they have a microphone, but they don't have a, they don't have anything to record videos with. And so like that. I'm just like, there are certain tools that I use even now that it, that that makes video editing much better, much easier. Much easier. Stuff that I use that is. Oh my God! Canadian Jutsu just subscribed. So anime. <laughs> Shoutouts to Canadian Jutsu, who I'm totally hanging out with this weekend. I've been meaning to ask CJ what that what data center he's on. Actually, he raids pretty much every night I stream now, so he doesn't get a chance to hop in usually. But uh, yeah, um, no, I just I just I just want to know what data center he's on because like I if he's on if he's on the same data center, I will come bug him with my bunny girl. But if he's not, that's cool. I mean, the fact that Vieras are... Are Vieras in the game? Is it Viera? Yeah, Vieras, yeah. The, the fact that there's Vieras and there's Red Mages makes me want to play the game more. <laughs> so... 
I will, I will, I will suggest that if you're gonna play the game, just go ahead and get out, get out. Try to get out where CJ's at, but Primal, the data center Primal is locked down. You cannot make the characters on Primal. Really? At all. Yeah. Like, I, I tried, because I know some people I know who, who play and raid on Primal. That, that entire data center, except for maybe like two servers, are locked down. So that means like you could play with CJ if you if he's on Primo, but you can't be on the same server with him so you can do it. But uh Red Mage? Uh. Red Mage is fun. Yeah. Oh he's on Primo. <laughs> yeah, Primo Primo is Actually Primal. I think I'm on Primal too, but I don't know I'm not hundred percent sure if I am. Cause I think cause when I created my character CJ was there with me, so Yeah, you're on Primal then. It's just that I look at it like this. It's just like there was like I know CJ's, he's on, CJ's on Primal. I know Insane's on Primal. He has a he is a uh, he has a he has a free company on there. And he wanted me to join, but I said I can't make a character on Primal. Oh, I'm on Ultros. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And um, let's see. There were some other people. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Twilight Wolf. He's on Primal. Uh, and like people he plays with and stuff like that is all, all on Primal too. So I know I know a lot of people who's on Primal, but just I said Primal. What? I've been saying Primal a lot. What Oni? Uh, I'm, like I told you, I'm watching yours and New Legacy stream right now. They're on Wrestling Revolution 3D. Yeah. One guy got choke slammed into a thing of dynamite and blew up. What the fuck? Oh, Alrighty then. You are oh, fucking missing this shit. It's fucking awesome. Shout out to uh, uh, New why Legacy. Why Oni is talking about murder? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, there better be a chocolate drop. Quiet, Megamine. Remix. <laughs> But, the explosions uh, are so bad. Limbs get ripped off and destroyed. Hey, right. already then. Uh, huh. This is a video game, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a video game, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Otherwise, it'd be weird. Weird does weird. not explain how I was feeling <laughs> as at that moment. <laughs> weird wouldn't be the word I'd use. Disturbing would be uh, correct. Uh, yeah, Why the hell does she keep vibrating? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, CJ, I'm not sure you're still in the chat. Uh, I'm not sure in your chat, but I am a dedicated white mage. Unfortunately. <laughs> I require healing. Cure, 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 I just love at the end of one of the, uh, one of Donkey's, uh, Overwatch <laughs> videos, a guy's like, well, I'm going Battle Mercy <laughs> because of Genji kept asking for heals. Ah oh, man, like I, I've been told Genji sometimes, I've been told that I shouldn't like. This was someone who like I'm new to everything past the realm are born, so I ask questions a lot. And um, someone actually told me in one of the one of the eight man fights that you get into, um. They told me that I shouldn't heal. <laughs> that I should focus on doing DPS. And I'm just like... Uh, I'm white mage. Hello. I'm looking, I'm looking at stone too like... Man, do you do damage? That's like asking for a combat medic in Team Fortress. It just doesn't work. I mean, it can. They, 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 made, him, they, they made combat medic the thing in DS2. Yeah, I guess. So. Still. Yeah, and then there's like they said you're overhealing the tank. I said, well, I'm overhealing everyone. Sure. I keep I keep regen and medica two on on the tanks. What am I supposed to do? Cast an arrow. That's sad because I sit here and I think about that, and maybe it is at lower levels. And I'm not low, but higher levels. But I'm just there, like I, I I look at the what goes on and how people act in dungeons, and I'm just like, 
I can't be asked to sit here and cast stone too every but, few seconds. But by, by the way, I love how Uhara's mech is like fucking stacked. <laughs> it's like it's like a fucking Uhara. death machine. Uhara, you know, yeah. You know what? But I said he I said he was looking at that machine. I was like, is that the is that the mid boss from Virtual on Mars? It's dude, this entire game is references to Virtual. On. I mean, I get that, but I'm just like, was that the <laughs> I literally, I literally had to stop playing White Mage for a minute, a little bit, and go do something else because I was just getting tired of just like being told that. <laughs> yeah, how dare you uh, do what your class is supposed to do? How dare, how dare I not DPS with the three, the three attack skills I have currently at hand? <laughs> How dare I not spam arrow every every two seconds? <laughs> no, I get that. I get that. I just that I feel like I feel I feel like you're asking me you're asking me to to do damage when I really feel like I I don't have any. Yeah, no, no, I know. Like, but like I'm level fifty. Like they don't get um. Why? I'm pretty. Wait, I. I mean, I'm not gonna argue because I'm pretty sure CJ has like like maxed out all the classes on his character. I can't remember if he has, but like. I know a lot of people do, do that. I feel like I he knows his shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just. I feel. I feel like. I feel like I did that once in a in a dungeon where I didn't bother healing as much as I as I should have and stuff like that. And I got we, the, the crew got wiped like several times. Like I I used arrow. I spammed. I, I spammed stone. If enemies got close, I used holy. But like I'm just like. It, I felt like it wasn't. It wasn't. I wasn't contributing as well as just like say keeping the other DPS and the tank alive. Oh fuck! Accelerator. Oh no! Accelerator is the final boss on Overdrive. No. Turn on the accelerator. Now is the time. Kuga! I did that last time. <laughs> only reference to Overdrive, so now, uh, uh, the Accelerator is not happy because that's like one of the shittiest seasons of Power Ranger. <laughs> that's why I did it. Well, just as long as you didn't speak the word of Megaforce, because we don't speak that name here. It's not one of, it is the worst season. Overdrive. Mm. I'm not getting into this with you, Nightman. I don't really, I don't really care about what's better or worse because they both suck anyway. I want to yeah, play that was. mech, the fucking purple one. Fuck you, Celerator! Sounds like, why do you get a show and I don't? A, uh, a certain yeah. bland Satan. <laughs> Could you imagine? Well, uh, she's a level zero, right? So. Yeah, that was fun. He's probably watching the other stream. Also, uh, DJ, uh, that is blasphemy. RPM is good. <laughs> RPM got me back in the franchise. I know you don't like it, CJ, but whatever. You don't know Polly. His first season is missing, of course, though, so it's a uh, Again, you don't know quality because Mr. Force is born. <laughs> I actually liked parts of Mystic Force. I didn't hate it all the way through. I call I call it Power Rangers Nick Force because all about Nick. The other Rangers don't matter. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you transfer a spell that's about family. To, into English and only have the, the main character be the only family member. God, we're getting destroyed. Oh, no! Oh, Accelerator, fuck Blue you! Blue and Pink are sisters, so there's that. Wait, are you talking about Mystic Force? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, like the entire, the entire, all the races were family in Japanese. I know. Yeah. Is sister in English? Yeah, in uh, in Mystic Force they were sisters. Yeah, but like that's 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 why I was, that's why I, when I heard nin, the, like the the ninja the ninja was getting was getting uh, an English I guess adaptation. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it w and I was like, "Oh, Xander is great. Xander is great." Xander was um, federal, like, well, you know, yeah, it's but... pretty ironic thing about Ninja Steel though. Uh, red and gold uh, in the American version, they're brothers, but in in the Sentai, uh, Go uh, Star Ninja, he was like only one who wasn't a cousin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's like, it's, I was like. As much as I didn't like the ninja or something like that as a show, at least I, I, I respected the whole family unit thing idea. I liked it that they went with a cousin team instead of siblings again. Well, aside from red and white. Yeah. So that was interesting. Still, still a piece of shit, but... Well, red's not a sibling of white. It's white's kid. Sorry, no. spoiler for Mystic Force. Uh, we were talking about ninja. Oh, ninja. The, the only thing that got me to watch the ninja was the fact that they crossed over with Drive, and I really like Drive. And no one Drive is really Drive. good. I was 100% uh, expecting Drive to be trash, and it ended up being fantastic. I gotta get back into Common Rider. Drive! Type Speed! In fact, I gotta get back into Sentai. Uh, no you don't. <laughs> Half the season have been crap. It hasn't been good in a while. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Lupine vs. Kato, I heard, was pretty great. I heard that one was good, but it, it, it dropped off in the end, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people were not happy with it. Q Ranger, though, I think was probably the worst of the bunch. Yeah. They really tried to sell that show. I couldn't stand it. It was too much. It's funny, I hear mixed things about Q Ranger. I hear some people don't really dislike it, and I hear other people, like, actually thought it was pretty good. So. Which one was that? That's the space Here. one that has like 20 rangers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, no. I, I tried Fox watching season. Do you know what you're doing? Do I know what I'm doing, CJ? Like in the game? Let's see. <laughs> kind of a shame, though, because it came off of uh, Ju Oger, and I really liked Ju Oger. I found it really boring, so I dropped it. I felt bad for dropping it because I know Sentai needs a hit right now, and I just, I don't know. It wasn't doing it for me. Um, yeah, for the most part, CJ, I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just, the only thing I haven't figured out is how to do the specials, but I've been able to survive without doing them, so. No, I'm, I'm switching things around. I'm not just mashing. I just was going for more uh, melees because they tend to do more damage. Yeah, um, that particular one, um, that particular virtual on machine is something that has high melee damage. Especially when you start getting into variants with the ones with the Tomfas. Yeah, that's why I went for it because, like, uh, I remember that from one of the other games. I'm like, oh shit, right. And Accelerator's someone you don't want to fuck around with in this game, so I just kind of was like, I'm just, I was just kind of like, fuck it, I'm going all melee on this guy. You don't want to fuck around with Accelerator, period. Of course, they give him, like, a powerful mech because it's fucking Accelerator. Yeah. I mean, he is the most popular character in the series, so... Is he? Yeah. It's either him or Misaka. Oh, yeah, we're gonna play that. I'm finally gonna get a chance to play that when I visit you. Good old Crash Team Racing. Oh, nice. That's a fun game. Yeah, I can't wait to play that with the Wasp of Fruit. Just uh, See, be warned. There's microtransactions. Thanks, Activision. DJ. Uh, CJ, 16 quests left. <laughs> 16 quests left and I'll be in heaven's what? sword. What the fuck? Nani? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. So I think I completed Satan's story. So let's see who's next. 
armed S lot. judge igniters. You know, for a story that's supposed to be Sutton's, we saw a little more of Uiharu here. <laughs> I think it, like, I think the character, like, is peripheral, except for fucking Index, Gen because it's fucking Gen Index. Gen oh, this bitch again. Uh, mm -hmm. um, witch who doesn't know what a shirt is. Anime, don't question it. That's like me, Coats. What's a shirt, guys? That's not how a witch cloak works. Uh, no, I'm just taking my hair off. To my boobs. Too much clothes. I post my bunny girl in the, the Sweet. I also love how she has like a charm necklace and it's of, of course exactly where it is. <laughs> like it's like... Giggity. It's like made for an excuse. She's like, what are you looking at? Oh, sorry, the charm on your neck. Yeah, yeah not, this is a virtual on game. Not your tits. <laughs> dark, 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 dark colors and DNA strands in the background. Yeah, this is definitely virtual on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little different, but you know what? I'm enjoying it, and I, I just wish no. that we get more. No, I was being serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Sorry, I'm fucking... <laughs> uh, I'm looking into some new games and stuff like that, but I'm also I'm also mad that I can't spend the money I have because Fanatical Summer Sale is going on, and I'm so mad. I want to get that Fanatical Atari bundle. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I didn't link that. I was like, that would been like the Atari bundle. It's good. Okami HD is pretty good. Uh, Sonic Forces is 999 again. Still can't get it to finish my collection. Oh, CJ and I are going to play that this weekend. What, Sonic Forces? Yeah. We're going to make the best Deviant Art character ever. Make, uh, make, make Sonic 2. Look, look, no. look. Make, make, make Zodiac Escobar. <laughs> 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 uh, what else was on sale that I saw? I saw that I wanted to put on there. Uh, um, Tokyo Xanadu was on sale. Ooh, that's like, a fun game. Yeah, it's on sale for like 80, 85 percent off. Yeah, what kind of game is that again? Uh, Tokyo yeah. I missed that. What? It's an action RPG. Oh, okay. It's from uh, Falcom. So. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what recently came out? Yeah. Uh, Ion Fury. Hmm. That's 3D Realms' new game, running on the ori the original uh, engine they used for Duke. Oh, nice. It looks really fucking good. I kind of want to play it. <laughs> I'm thinking of buying it because I think the game will run on my PC. I mean, <laughs> the engine they're using. Game, so. The engine they're using is uh, <laughs> from like the '90s, so. Yeah, if if I if I knew that I couldn't I could get away with it, I would definitely buy Tony, 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 Tony. There's only so many keys left too because it's it's only eight ninety nine. Fun fact: Tokyo Zanadu has Cold Steel references. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Like. Best thing, like, but best thing about that is Magical Girl Lisa. It's a fun, it, basically a, a cast of Cold Steel are characters in a Magical Girl anime in, in that game's universe. Nice. Yeah, great. The Devil May Cry bundle. That's another thing I wanted to get, but I don't have enough money for that, even if I did want to try to get the money. Oh, no. I have to play now as Open Shirt Man. Man, his man moves. His man boobs. Oh, uh, Jimmy the problem. I love how he, like, has a mech, and there are other characters from the show that I'm like, why are they not in here? <laughs> <laughs> like, him of all people. He's barely in the fucking show. <laughs> uh, the first season he's barely there, uh, but he kind of does play some sort of role in the in the show. So I don't want to go for super long tonight because I have to pack and shit still. Um, so I'm I'm probably do one more story and that might be it for me tonight. Um, hmm. 
But yeah, I'll probably do this guy's story and then uh, I'll continue this probably the next stream. Cause, just because I don't want to go for super long. Um, but uh, but yeah, I am really enjoying this game. Don't. I'm glad that out of I found out of all the virtual games I've played, this one seems to have the longest uh, story mode, which I'm okay with. <laughs> Are you buying it? I'm buying it. Iron Fury? Oh god, yeah. it's so good. Uh, LGR just reviewed it. Nice. The game is like $25, so I'm like, that's a, that seems like a deal. I, I might get it. Like, I'm really considering buying it. Because I want to play through it. Looks fun. I, I still have a whole bunch of games on this thing. Because remember I told you when I, when I first introduced you to the uh, Fanatical? Yeah. And I, I, bought, I bought one of those mystery bundles. Yeah. I, I did one, and it, that's where I, that's where I got a uh, Batman Arkham Arkham City game of the year and a uh, uh, Gauntlet Slayer. Oh, I also got one called. I also got this weird game called Jalopy. I'm not sure if anyone's heard of it. Oh, I've heard of Jalopy. I, I was thinking about doing that for stream. It, it, it looks it okay enough. Is that horror, is it? I don't think so. Last I checked. Oh, that's so attractive, that merp. Oh, baby. What the fuck? Yeah. This stream was brought to you by Kanzaki's boobs. Hey there, y'all. What did I miss? I'm sorry, I'm late. How's everybody doing? We're very We've been watching the new Legacy stream, we know. No, idiot, I was at work. Oh. Ah, he called you an idiot. <laughs> That's so also, weird. I would like to just say on this alternate uh, part of the Noisecast Deep War that Breda Kirby was a great guest last night, and I'm very glad to see him here. Yeah. I, I wasn't that good. I mean, it was a good. I think that was one of our better podcasts, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nothing against. Out of four podcasts, I, well, I think they're all great, but I think uh, I think that there was a special magic about last night. It was very. Fun. I mean, I liked last night, but JT Lefty. That will nothing will ever top that for me unless we get something even crazier. JT Lefty is a great fucking dude. Bitch, if we get way. superhuman on the podcast, that will top. Yo, it I me. want superhuman on the podcast so bad. So, so I, I did, I did send those, uh, send the audio files. By the way, yeah, I saw that. By the way, did you, did you send the uh, Left 4 Dead stuff to me yet? I have not because I have to take that AVI, <laughs> that, that AVI file that I record of the gameplay, right? And put up the audio of. Your audio and my audio, so you at least have that. <laughs> right. right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's just also now part of the noise cast <laughs> deep lore is that game. Left for Dead 2. <laughs> yeah, everything's part of the noise cast deep lore now, in to include Oni's stream with paper. Views. What? Because I'm there. I'm a member of the Noise Boys. Everything we do is part of the canon of the noise cast. You, you can't just become Kevin Bacon. Okay, okay. What do you mean? Uh, we're, we're all Kevin Bacon in a way. I have to, I have to ask. <laughs> I have to ask. If, if everything's part of the, the, the noise cast lore, is that thing that we talked about the, and on the, my stream the other day, is that part of the noise cast lore, deep lore? Wait, you mean the ideas we you and me were doing? Or? Yeah, about the, the, the two dudes in Gundam talking about 50 Cent. <laughs> Doom, you're ban- talking about T-Pain. Doom, you're, no. you're banned from making lore for the noise cast. No, I'm not, actually. Yes, you are. No, it, Why am I banned, Zero? Because you try to make shit up all the time. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. That's part of the lore, is that I just make up shit. No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. No, no, the whole, Other people thing, was, was, no. The whole thing was, was that me and him were talking about rappers and music and stuff like that. And I, I pointed out to him that 50 Cent was the first mumble rap. Oh, yeah, kind of is. 
Yeah. And like, and I was just like, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge it, but like some of the songs, he mumbles his lines because he can't open his mouth. Yeah. Uh, too, oh, too much. And the joke was like, two guys in Gundams that are about ready to like breach for a fight. Like they're they're waiting for like an impending battle, and this is just the conversation two people are having. <laughs> and one guy's literally like, "Dude, are you serious? The enemy is gonna come up and fuck our shit up any minute now, and you want to talk about how great Candy Shop is? Like, I love Candy Shop personally, but now is not the time." And you have you have you have put on the most stereotypical Southern accent ever. Oh my <laughs> god. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why did I knew that was coming? Oh yeah, because I thought it was really funny if this like clearly deep southern white guy is talking about how much he loves Fitty. <laughs> oh no, I'm in this. Like, look, man, I love I love Candy Shop as much as the next guy. But we are in, we are at war. There is an impending fight, and I would love to talk to you about how great Get Rich or Die Trying is. It's a great album. But we should probably focus on the oncoming assault. Oh, I'm fucking with this mecca. You want you want to know who I picture saying that though? It's gonna make it's gonna make Oni mad. I pictured that voice coming out of Rumble Raw. Rumble Rawls is descendant. Uh, what's his name? Yes, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm gonna link it because I know, I know, I know, uh, he doesn't know too much about kind of characters and everything anymore. This is Rumble Rawls. Oh, yeah, I can pull a picture of that. Except you have to be a little older. Well, actually, Wait, Rumble Rawls technically a little older already, but... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like being a fan of Finny. So, oh, so, sorry to hear that, Ruby, but thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hey. Bye, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. So, but, um, I, I'm looking at Rumble Raw pictures on, uh, Twitter, and one of the one of the the, the tags that you can add to Mama Wall is Ron Swanson, and it has pictures of Ron Swanson looking like Rumble Wall, and I said I can't. Also, uh, zero. Quick question: Would you play Fight Crab on a on a stream? What is Fight Crab? You didn't see what Fight Crab was? Dude, I want to play Fight Crab too. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Fight Crab looks like the most amazing fucking game ever. Um, I need to. I'm gonna try to send uh, the twit to you. Um, I will just post it in Zero Master General. If you guys want to understand Fight Crab or Crab Fight. But I think this is fucking magical. This isn't a remake of boxing for the Atari 2600 or something. Right? I, I don't know what this is, but this is this is a game that's my speed. It's got music that I think you would like. What's it on? Switch. Oh, it's on Switch? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I, was gonna I say, don't know if this is out yet or when it comes out. But this is the most hyped game. Should I fucking try to get a review copy so I can stream? <laughs> oh my god, could you? Because Fight Crab needs to be streamed. Huh. I knew... I, I... This is I... going to be one of those games that people are horrible at. <laughs> but it's gonna be so great. Night, man. I I knew this character in Final and Final Fantasy XIV sounded familiar, but I didn't realize how familiar she was. There's a character in early Final, Final Fantasy XIV. Her name is Ida. She's a um. She's a pugilist. She's a main character pugilist. I did not realize that I was when I was up and listening to her voice. That she voiced not only Rachel Alucard but Rin Tosaka. Oh, Rin, nice. Ooh. 
Oh great! Now we're here with the fate franchise. I'm kidding. We're in the best girl. She also she also she she also voice. バイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオンバイオン
Yeah, you know, there's websites that only do you know cater to like what's on what's like what's on YouTube and stuff like that. But what made Rabbit good was that you can go to sites like uh, uh and I'm not advocating go, going to sites like that, but like you can go to sites like Kiss Anime and stuff like that and watch anime with friends. You can watch Tokusatsu with friends and stuff like that. If you know, you know the, the correct you know sources to go to watch that stuff with. Them. So like it's it was pretty it's pretty good. So what you're saying, Kirby, is group watch of Drive? Yeah, no, I, I'd, be, I'd, I'd be down with that. I, love I don't Drive. know what that is, but I'm down. Actually, it, Doom, that would help us on the situation for all out, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Or we could just watch it on the other thing. But... but I was gonna, I was looking to get, I was looking to try, try out Cast because uh, it's, it has a mobile app. Uh, um, it has a Windows app, it has a Mac app, and stuff like that. It's an app you have to download, and I was like, you know, I can fuck with that. I don't mind being a guinea pig that. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. I came up with a similar idea that I wanted Netflix to employ. But I, I kind of think, like, people wouldn't do it because people would, like, show you exactly where to see spoilers. But, like, my idea was, like, you have a Netflix thing that's integrated in, like, your Twitter or your Facebook. And, like, you can pause the episode of Netflix that you're watching, get the timestamp for it, and upload the timestamp with a link to click on the show and jump into your Netflix. Does that make sense to anybody? Yeah, it's kind of like when you share a YouTube video that has a timestamp. Yeah, like I, I wanted to like, I wanted to like share like, um, ep like if I was, let's say I was watching like that 70s show or something, and I was watching it, and then you see on Twitter, hey, Corey's watching that 70s show, and he thinks this is funny, let's watch this episode. Ma and like it would just bring you to the episode. Yeah. You watch that 70s show? Who doesn't watch that 70s show? It's great. Yeah, it's our show. It's pretty funny. I've, I've often seen myself as a Hyde. But I'm probably more of a Kelso. Anybody in here would be a Fez, though? Oof. <laughs> who's, who's annoying and beloved on this? Because <laughs> that's Fez, really. Nobody, Fez nobody was also Fez, 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 Fez was also the character. <laughs> Fez was also the character who got laid a lot. Yeah. This is true. I don't know. I've always seen myself as cool as Hyde, but like I know, like I, I, I feel like everyone's on a spectrum with that seventy show characters. Nobody wants to be at all like Foreman, though. Everyone wants to be like Red. Nobody wants to be like Foreman. <laughs> Eric was a pretty fun, uh, fun character, though. He was, but. I... <laughs> I think it's Sandlot. I think the problem is though, Topher totally Grace could have is a snob. Donna sooner. That's my only issue. And Topher Grace, like in real life, is a snob. So, yo, I often thought he would have been a great fucking Spider-Man. Cause you know how Terrible he was trash at Venom. Yeah. Dude, I, I was like watching that movie. Like, wait, now that I hate Tobey Maguire, why do I think Topher Grace would have been a great, <laughs> a great fucking Spider-Man this whole time? You know what's pretty funny? Pizza like time. before Spider-Man, before Spider-Man Three ever came out, uh, on that semi show, Eric had uh, Spider-Man bed sheets. See, because <laughs> he looks like a dude that could play. Pe that would be a great Peter Parker. Yeah. Well, does he gotta give Tobey Maguire some credit though. Oh, he was great. Andrew... Yeah, at least he's not Andrew Garfield. Because yeah, I, I don't know why people prefer him to Spider-Man. I admit, I didn't watch that the, the Amazing Spider-Man because I was like, eh, no thank you. They, they, they hooked well, me on the first movie because I'm a big fan of Blizzard. Well, I mean, the first Spider-Man movie was okay, the second one is utter trash. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the electric eels fix his teeth? Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Why did uh, you try to make Jamie Foxx look unsexy at all? Like, let Jamie Foxx do his thing. Oh, and don't, uh, don't not forget, don't not forget though, uh, Harry Osborn uh, comes out of nowhere, and you gotta believe that they're best friends, you know, in case you don't know the more of it. Oh yeah, he was shit at that too. Like he was, he was bad Green Goblin. Yeah, he was. <sighs> like it he was barely handled. 
it, it, it quite frankly just made me say, yo, I don't want to ever see Green Goblin again. You know, you know what? I, I didn't really care for the Green Goblin that much. I was more of a Hobgoblin guy. I yeah, thought he was the cooler villain. Hob Hobgoblin is, is superior, but you kind of can't have one without the other. The thing with Green Goblin, though, he's kind of Spider-Man's Joker, just so to say. So you kind of just because he's more personally like involved, you know? Yeah. Like where the Joker is more personally involved in a psychotic way, like Green Goblin and the Osborns are literally like a part of Harry's life in a big way, in like a huge way. So I see your point. Yeah. Huh. But you know, oh, I definitely would always prefer uh, Venom, except for in the movies. But you know. You know, actually, I don't hate that fucking Venom movie that came out as much. Like, I knew it wasn't gonna be, like, the greatest. It was just, like, it was okay. It was a movie that surely Marvel had something to do with and Venom was a character. I skipped it. Because I thought, I just thought of that being Sony being Sony. That, and they just wanted to try and keep the Spider-Man franchise to them as long as they can. It wasn't unwatchable, though. It was... It was just the most generic Let's thing you could have done with a Venom movie. Like, uh, but it's, I, will, I still think it's watchable. I, I will give Sony credit, though. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, that's cool. my favorite Spider-Man movie now. Yeah, that's actually my one of my favorite animated movies, too, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still say, though... Are we talk uh, about the post credit scene, or no? The movie's like a year old, isn't it? So. Eh, I, w I wouldn't. I still haven't seen it, to be honest. You should. Okay. Yeah, you definitely should. It's a good movie. I liked it. The, la the last movie that I was really, like, really, really hyped to see and stuff like that was Hobbs and Shaw, and, like, no one is, like, went to go see it. I'm just like, that's a bit of a especially if you're a wrestling fan. I have mixed feelings about that. Oh, the, uh, Fast and Furious movie? Yeah. It, it, it was looked... actually... It was actually really good. It had, it had one, like, one unbelievable scene. I kind of wish CJ was cool. here because he's, like, he fucking loves the Fast and Furious series. Like, like, it had one unbelievable scene that it used that for the trailer. Um, so, like, that... Canadian Jitsu is a big fan of fucking... Yeah. It had one shot. Not, not in the way you think. But, like, like, it's for, it's for shits and giggles. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I can't, I, you know what, real talk, real talk, I can't fuck some people like that. Because, like, I, if, I, if I'm if i into something and I'm passionate, and then I, I, I talk to somebody and they're just, just there for just, you know, I feel like I'm, I feel, I'm the one that feels people, you know? You know, being you a wrestling that fan, way. it's just, really it's just things that people like. like things in different ways. Yeah, but, like... I've talked to people who only like things with shits and giggles and stuff like that, and they've literally made fun of me for liking that kind of stuff. It is kind of, I, I would say it is kind of an insult. Yeah. But at the same I'm time, not... if, if somebody just watched wrestling for, like, people to get hurt and, like, Well, then stupid... fuck those people if they made fun of you for yeah. for liking it in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. yeah. But, like, no, just... <sighs> like, the whole thing was, like... I was I was surprised at the NSL like that because oh, there was like that... members of the Annoy family in the in the movie. Yeah, they had a couple members of the Rock's family. One of them being titular star of WWE Raw Roman Reigns. It was actually he he actually had he they gave him the least amount of lines, but he he had the biggest impact in the movie. I like it. That that's literally what they should be doing on TV, but I'm not talking about. It. <laughs> <laughs> like and like. Like the one thing, the one thing I didn't like was the fact that uh, Ryan Reynolds was in the movie. Like I like the movie; it's in my top ten. Ryan Reynolds in the movie, and I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, oh, the ideas for the Deadpool verse. That's what everyone's gonna say. Like, like Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds is his his part. He plays. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> like, I even Did he? Oh, I can picture him when he's being. I can picture him when he's being Ryan Reynolds. Like he just goes up and gives Dwayne a hug and sniffs his ear really sensually and says something funny in his ear and walks away. Sorta, of, kinda. That's what I love about Ryan Reynolds. Depending on the movie, he will blur that line between like, "Yo, this is really homoerotic," or just he's fucking around. No, like, like he's in the beginning of the movie. He's in the beginning of the movie. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but like, he just is there. 
and he's the one talking to having to talk to the rocks character and he's ryan reynolds the entire time i just so, what do you think of pikachu do you like pikachu i don't want to get into it too much because i'm doing a podcast about that with cj but like, basically what, I love it. what how the show no he took the pikachu Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't, I haven't seen that either. So, I haven't no. seen it either. I just know it's a movie. It's a thing. It just, it's just it's purely a movie with Ryan Reynolds in it. You have to understand it now. Ryan Reynolds. It, but also, I will, I will say this. It's, it's not like a Pika fool. Which is like a, I'm actually thinking really funny. Here. No, no. Like I understand that. It's just that Ryan Reynolds has these, has these moments when he's in movies and stuff like that. That he forgets that he's acting as these characters and he becomes Ryan Reynolds. And um, I, I, I come to the realization that Ryan Reynolds is this is this century's uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, no, I buy that a lot. Actually, I buy into that a lot. <laughs> Except Jeff Goldblum is the best at out Jeff Goldblum and Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, now we discussed that at the Noise Voice podcast. Wait for that episode to come out. Well, it's kind of funny because like the night before. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's going> <laughs> we were talking about. I think like we were talking about the. Weren't we talking about loot boxes and shit the night before on the stream? Yeah. And then we yeah. I think you can jump this stuff in and out. That was a good point though. I'm actually glad that we got some other opinions. Yeah, like, like, like I said, like, like I said last night, like loot boxes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm of two minds of that thing. I like. Depending, it depends on how they're handled. Literally, that's what it comes down to. And it, it, it's funny because you play a lot more mobile games than I do, so you see that shit a lot more than I do. I play a lot of mobile games and MMOs that do that and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So like, like I understand, like I understand why people get upset with loot boxes. Like I wanted to bring this up on the on the stream, uh, last uh, on the podcast last night, and it was just like, um, like I play Guild Wars two and stuff like that. And there was this thing where they had a loot box. They had a loot box to get a. They they put all these like cosmetics for mounts in loot boxes, and then jacked up the um the drop rate. Duke. And so people were to get to get these skin exclusive mounts. There were there were these amount these mount exclusive uh, skins that was in uh that was in the Guild Wars 2. They would have to spend sixty, seventy, eighty dollars and hope to get lucky. And no one liked that. I can see why. Also, back to a previous point that you made where you wanted to say that on the podcast, but it didn't come around. Do you know who I feel is the ultimate person who who that who deals with that? <laughs> oh. I feel like I feel like we need to do a Charles cast. Where yeah. we just where we just let Charles dictate a lot of conversation. <laughs> Yeah, because he was El Capitan in the last podcast, and I felt like we didn't give him enough chances to be El Capitan. Come to think about it, there's a lot of times on the podcast where I'm like, "Yo, is this literally? J where is J where is Chuckles?" I like. It's because like, you and I get really of... hype about things, and then like and Jordan, Jordan just, builds just off. like <laughs> Jordan throws in a somebody. Here's what happens: everybody gets hype as fuck on a conversation. Somebody throws in a non sequitur, it, and it's not just me. It's everybody does it, and then we change it off, and then we don't remember what the first fucking topic was. The only reason I loved last night's is because we only literally had like five topics of conversation. Everything just kept looping back together. But like, the thing, the thing was is that like last night I was just like, I would say something. And then Doom would get ultra excited, and he would just not hear me and just keep talking. And he was just like, "Doom, shut up!" Let there's Kirby there's talk. like a couple times where I told that I yelled at you to shut up, and I feel bad. I felt really bad too. I so. feel bad. I'm sorry. No, I'm it, sorry. It's, a, I'm sorry. it's okay. I was I was having fun. I was amused by the entire thing. It's gonna I, be a really funny clip. <laughs> <laughs> Like real talk, it's like I, I I don't get invited to do things a lot too often so like that. But when I do, I just sit. I, I actually do stand and sit back and watch the process. I swear to God, if you don't get those twenty subscribers, yeah, from the from from Jordan's fan base, I'm gonna be pissed. Yo, did you realize every podcast you have to bring up that he has forty thousand? I know. I I do it on purpose just to fuck with him. You know what? I'm sure there are moments that if I went back and listened to it, there's shit I do on every podcast that's small like that. 
I feel like there's just bits that are gonna go on forever. I just want like uh, you know how PewDiePie has like m like like 70 million and eight, or and 80 million merch. I want Jordan to have 40k merch, the 40k club. <laughs> this is why the podcast needs deep lore. <laughs> Not from you, it doesn't. <laughs> why my deep lore? I've never done deep lore with the, with the podcast. But you do it from outside sources. What are you talking about? You were just going on like uh, like 20 minutes ago about how everything is noise cast in deep lore, and I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah, everything is noise cast. It's not, though. Or is it? No, it, it, it isn't. That's, that's, I'm, a, that's I'm telling some you, deep it isn't. Right there. It's not actually deep lore, it's, it's in your head. <laughs> You yeah, know, but you know, you yeah, know what thinking that, about that, those it pictures. Is the first step to creation. You know what of those what the picture you're missing is. You're missing down there on your on your screen the picture of a uh, Balrog from the Street Fighter movie. Yes, I love that picture. I love Balrog from the Street Fighter movie. I don't have that picture. Get that picture, man. Yes. No. <laughs> Here, here you go. Here you go. Uh, I will post it. I will post this in, in, in general. This is Balrog from the Street Fighter movie. For, for, for some reason, uh, he's always punk, uh, punch drunk, and his eyes are never in the proper form. <laughs> now he's a boxer. He got boxed too hard, and now he's got a fucked up eye. Wait, what's happening here? Why is Index doing a thing? He could fucking look at you and the person standing next to you. Because <laughs> Index gotta be good for something. Oh. I use my Index to keep track of all of my phone numbers. <laughs> Yo, we should bring the Rolodex back. Yo, real talk. <laughs> How cool were those things? Zimet is talk to be that Mohaya. Imata. Also, Zero, what happened to Hydration Bot? Yeah, I don't know what happened. The Hydration Bot hasn't been here for like six streams. And then randomly, Hydration Bot will show up again. Have you seen our Hydration Bot? Wanted. Please consult at Zero Master on Twitter. No, what happened to me? What happened to it? I don't know. No! Oh my god, they are not! Eh. We don't know, are they? Oh, <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, on the new Legacy stream? Yes! Well, good, good for the new Legacy stream. We're at zero stream right now. He's watching both. I want to. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna point out to, uh, to, uh, Doom that I had fun playing League today. Yeah, he was talking about this earlier. I'm glad you did, dude. I'm, gl I'm glad you took your break. And I think, I think, I think the, the joke I made last night is staying there. No, no, you don't understand, you don't understand why I, why I, why I came into this room happy after a game of League. Why? I got a pencil kill. That'll do it. That'll that that resets every league player. <laughs> that puts you back at like you're negative five at that point. Like you're so there's nothing you hate about the game. <laughs> All I can think about when you say negative five is that oh god Zimba Avatar Avatar the website uh, video, Rukatara chased Haru across the continent to then find out he's gay. <laughs> Yo, this was, this was Avatar The Last Airbender? Yeah. I by knew Gan it. Oh my god. Yo, that's a fucking name I've not heard. That's a soul that I've not heard of in a millennia. Is that guy still doing stuff? Uh, he got, he, he got, he got absorbed into Team 4, four Star. Oh, so I guess good for him. Yeah, because he's Tian Shenhan. Oh, that's, yeah, he was. Uh, he's got a lot of people. 
Didn't he take Android, over for uh, Android 17? No, you were thinking Remix. Oh yeah, yeah. Remix. Shoutouts to Did You Know Gaming. <laughs> I I no. still miss I still miss Brandon's version of Kami. Yeah, which is just Hokage, I think it was but... just period. <laughs> have, they gone back you and, wait, have they gone back and Lucas him out of things yet? <laughs> no, they haven't. Thank God. I would protest. I would be so fucking well. The, the only the only thing we can ever say is like he is officially Raditz in that. He was also yeah. Gohan in the first episode. That's right, he is. Like, I didn't realize, and he told me, I'm like, oh my god, you are Gohan! What the fuck was that dude who did the fucking Metabots thing? Uh, yeah, he did Metabridged? I don't remember, but I, I don't, the only other thing I remember, like, from, from that era and stuff like that, was being in fucking Beyblade Prince by that white guy, one, two, three. Oh god, Whitey? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. When when he when he had me when he had me play Ray as Shadow the Hedgehog. What happened to him? I talked to him once, like a couple of years ago. Well after he, not he talking to him for a while. He, he disappeared. I don't know where he is. Francisco like, Guerrero was like the greatest thing he ever made. It was the fuck is voodoo moves. Also, I would I was on I was on his channel watching old Bay play the bridge. And I was like, what? He didn't credit me as Ray? And then I had to look at the credits again, and I was like, oh, wait, that was back when I was going by Hoshizora Inc. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, that was a name. <laughs> I think this dude rebranded the guy I was talking about who did Metabridge. I think he rebranded as Voodoo Moose. Because, and the only reason I still know it's him is because the videos are that long ago. And you guys remember Uzi Hobo? Yeah, I remember Uzi Hobo. What happened to that guy? What a I, go with the, I like this try gonna bring. I thought that was great. What a, what a, no, another person that like, I miss actually, so I actually really talking to is fucking Jesus Man Joe. Yeah, he, he doesn't talk much anymore on there. I have him on Facebook still, and I see him post a lot. Uh, he's the guy who edits for a remix. Oh, so he's also now just, uh... Did you know gaming? Gotcha! Wait, wasn't that started by those three guys anyway? I don't know. I know that Shane is part of it, was one of the guys. Because I don't know what else uh, the fuck Shane does. Because I think Remix was in, if that's Shane, I'm sorry, I don't know these It's not names. Shane. Oh. So I remember, like, hearing Remix, Remix's voice in a lot of those videos. Because it would say, featuring Remix. So I was like, oh. And then I was like, well, wait. I think there was another dude that was involved with that, too, that also did that. It was in that same circle. The meta-bridged guys. There was, like, another like, dude who did a lot of abridging voice acting. You know, I thought you were going to say they did a lot of doo doo. They did a lot of doo doo that they did. That was like Dude, seven what? years ago. They did a lot of doo doo since then. I, what, I want to point out that whenever I hear a rapper say doo doo or poo poo or pee pee, I was just like, God damn it. This is the era of rapping that, that, that should have just died. Uh, some Is it bad that somebody at work today brought in, uh, um, what are they called? Uh, butter tarts from a place called doo doo's? No, I would not eat. The, I would not eat Doodoo's butter tarts. <laughs> that's a no from. That's a big I, no. I couldn't him. because it's not allowed on my diet. But I brought. I brought one home for someone else. So, so you brought some Doodoo's home. I brought some Doodoo's home. You, you know, you know, zero. If I ever come visit you, I come up randomly. Then, you take me to go get some good fried chicken. Oh fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> There's no way Canada has better fried chicken than America. Well, well you'd be surprised. Um, bro. Fucking Mary Browns. Bro. That's all I'm saying. Bro, America lives off of the idea of we don't know what's going into our food. I'm sure, I'm sure America Did you not hear my chicken. rant several months ago about Mary Browns and Big I Marys? I don't think I was there. He, he was there because Zero said he wanted to shove a Big Mary in my mouth. 
I, I don't ever remember that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still just gonna stand by my statement that I think America would always make better tasting fried chicken. But I'll, I'll buy the zeros. I'll, I'll buy the zeros in a Canada ass fried chicken. It's probably pretty good. Look, Mary Brown's is fucking the best. Listen, like I've, we've gotten to the point down here in Atlanta that we, like I have that I like I'm having to cook my own food. Not because I like I like I, I don't mind cooking my own food. It's just that these restaurants are getting lower and lower and lower. Like how food scores, and I'm just like, this ain't good. It's probably a good thing. People shouldn't eat out that. People should eat out less. I'm like, I don't like, mind. I don't mind eating eating in a lot of stuff like that. I just get tired of eating the same thing over and over again. True. And I don't even think it's that, because I can make like 18 different dishes, it's still gonna taste like I made it. Like, it's fine, but I want to taste food that <coughs> is clearly made by somebody else but me. And limbs have been blown off! Again, I'm glad that's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had a discussion earlier with, with someone about a certain subject, and I was just like, look, if you're the type of person that enjoys that, you should probably seek help. Just a little bit. Okay, real life blown up explosions like that stuff. Okay, look, 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 look. Yeah. Explosion yeah. of yeah. objects, yeah. that's fine because things go boom, touches me in the nice place in the back of my mind. <laughs> Yo, can we pause, pause, Kirby? Do you want to try to re-say that? Yes, please. <laughs> this is like your one. This is like your one zin save you get from me. We will forget. Did you want to try to say that the right way? <laughs> oh, okay. The explosions make me feel good. In the pleasure node, node in the back of my mind. See, okay. that sounds Kirby. even worse. Kirby, I posted a GIF in the journal chat, and even uh, even Mega means a little disturbed by this. And on that note. I think I'm gonna stop for the night, because <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I I I have some driving, I have some packing to do tonight and some driving to do tomorrow, so. Um, yeah, let's end this on a disturbing note, shall we? So. Um, yes, I've disturbed somebody. So with that, we're gonna raid uh, New Legacy. Is it New Legacy Inc? It's yes, New it Legacy is. Inc. For yeah. those of you who don't know. Inc. A... Period or just Inc? Uh, it's, yeah, it's new up. under it's it's new. Legacy Inc. All one word. Okay. Yeah, it's no. all one word. The N E W S, you know, lowercase. Legacy is uppercase, and Inc. is lowercase. I don't think that matters. It kind of so, does. Real quick. Oh my God, Jimmy Sierra is back. He's got all his limbs. Real quick. But, uh, uh, so what New Legacy Inc. is doing is they are raising money for Canadian Cancer Society. They do this um, every year. This is their Royal Rumble to the royaliest of rumbles. It's about third. They're gonna go through 30 Royal Rumbles and 30 different crazy ass video games just to do one more at the end. They have very funny commentary. It's going towards a good cause. Yeah, uh, cancer sucks dick. So as as somebody who lost a uh, family member to cancer last year, I am totally supportive of that. So and it um, probably helps you more because it, it is Canadian, but that's fine. Cancer uh, sucks everywhere you go. All so. right, guys, we're gonna do that raid. Let the let the fucking boys know that the Zero Streams crew is there, and have a good night. See you next time on Cheap. See you on Bye. Tuesday. Bye.